In this video, I'm going to show students and teachers and anyone else how they can use Silk to build an online interactive database from a spreadsheet in a matter of minutes with no technical skills. Silk is a versatile platform that can be used for digital storytelling, data visualization, data journalism, uh, digital portfolios, or just about any other use online that incorporates data, images, video, text, audio, embedded files, and embedded media. Let's get started. The database we're going to build will actually be um, a database of endangered species uh, from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife website, uh, ECOS system. So I'm actually going to search for a county in Marin County. So this will be a database that shows the species listed in the county of Marin in California. Uh, this is a county north of San Francisco that's known for its beauty. Um, when we look at the page that's returned, it has the data already arranged by group, and that would be amphibians, birds, crustaceans, name, so that's the scientific and the popular name, population, which is actually the location, and status, which is endangered or threatened. The rest of the information is not something we really need to worry about very much. If we scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see that there are export options. We're going to select CSV. With the downloaded spreadsheet, we're going to open it up quickly and take a look at it to make sure there's nothing strange in it, that nothing that we don't really need um, or that could mess up the silk. And by that, I mean we need um, a flat data structure so that it should be column header and information underneath it. Uh, no nested data structures, no inline tables, no merged cells. All of that will not work if we try to import that into Silk. So this looks actually pretty good. I'm going to save as Marin list for Silk. And I note I saved it as a CSV, which it already was downloaded as. Um, then I'm going to go back to Silk. And if you're creating your own Silk, You'd have to click on the big red button here. Um, if you haven't created an account, all that's required is your site name, uh, your name, email address, password. You can choose to make the site private. I've actually already, of course, created a Silk account because I work there. So I'm going to sign in. And then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, and, and build a new site by scrolling to the bottom of my dashboard on the bottom left where it says create a new site. And for the site name, I'm going to do Marin Demo for Teachers. Or sorry, let's say Marin Demo for Ed Tech. Actually, that's probably a bad name. Marin Species List for, for Ed Tech. Okay. And I'm going to leave the site public, not make it private. And now it's going to ask me to create my first collection. I'm going to say Marin Endangered List. I'm going to highlight this because I will need it again in a minute. And it asks me to add pages to this collection. I'm actually not going to add the pages manually by clicking on the green button. I'm going to go directly to import to CSV. So here you see the first step is select. So I'll be able to go out and find Marin List for Silk. I'll click on that. And it previews the data as it's coming in. So I'm going to paste in the name of the collection that I already um, put uh, into Silk in the last site, uh, or in the last step. Here you'll see it looks like there's 38 pages, so let's go back and check. So two, 39 rows, yep, that's right, okay, when you don't count the column headers. And the way it's structured it is it's actually taken the column header from the A column and made that the page title. Now we actually want to have the page title be something unique, so we're gonna switch that to name, okay? And so that's the name of all the endangered species. Um, for some of these too, like for example, we don't necessarily wanna keep them in here. Um, so the lead office, for example, we can remove this because we don't really care about that. That's some information that doesn't matter to us. Um, we can also, if any of these happen to be hyperlinks, we can create a link, or if it's an image, Silk will automatically Import the image if you select uh, import an image from this from this link as well. So let me go ahead and click next, and it says warning: um, there are duplicate page names. Let's review the duplicates. So it looks like leatherback sea turtle and green sea turtle. We can go back to our spreadsheet and see what's going on. And yes, in fact, there are duplicates. 
and they look like they're basically the exact same thing. So we shouldn't worry about the duplicates because what Silk will do is it will actually uh, it'll remove one of the duplicates and only import one example of each of these rows. Now it's important to understand that the way Silk views data on the page is that a row is what you get in a page. So the page title is the name and all the other information in the row is what will go into the page. Um, so I'm going to import this now. And we've already created uh, 36 pages of information. I'm going to click Show All. And when you go into the page itself, so this is what we call our fact sheet, the page name over here on the left, and the tags are in the column uh, over here with collection, group, population, and status. Those are kind of like categories. And the facts are on the right. And those are actually clickable, and if you do click on them, then it will take you out to a visualization of other pages related to that specific fact. In this case, uh, marine endangered list pages with reptiles as group. Um, I'm going to quickly go to the home page, and let's edit this with a few visualizations. First, I want to import an image because that makes the pages much nicer. So I've selected uh, a California salamander image. And the way I did that was by clicking on the plus button and selecting image and then going to import. Um, with this you can shrink it or grow it and move it around. Um, now next I want to maybe add a pie chart or a visualization of our data. So with Silk you can very easily build um, visualizations of, all of, that are of the information that's stored in your pages. So we actually want to pick a distribution as opposed to slice because there are no numbers in our Silk. But let's say status, uh, maybe group. So this shows a breakdown of the endangered pages, of the endangered animal and, and plant pages that we see on our silk broken down by group. I'm going to click done. And now if you go back to the home page, you'll see that this data was inserted into the home page. Um, and if we wanted to say insert uh, another visualization, maybe make it a grid view of um, all of the, so we don't have an image for the grid, so that's okay but we can pick a description. So an image of the status um, and also an image of, or, or not an image of the status, but um, you include, include the status and the group on the grid view. You'll see down here, it shows status and group. And then when we say done, it will then go ahead and insert that grid view into our home page. Um, if we wanted to create uh, take these visualizations and turn them into a page all by themselves, we can do that very easily as well. Um, so let's save this page and we'll go up to Explore again. So this is the Explore mode where you will um, be able to do the types of visualizations and filtering that we want. So let's say we wanted to build a page that showed um, only, um, so that's the list, only the um, the group which uh, flowering plants and also birds and we wanted to show it as a group view so this will show a group um, alphabetically organized of the flowering plants and birds and we wanted to rather than copy the visualization or, uh, or set it as a default we wanted to insert it into a new page and then you'd see this would actually create a new page which is a visualization in and of itself so to understand Silk 2 um, a page can be uh, based on a specific entity, so a fact like an endangered species, or a page can be a visualization which is built on top of fa um, numerous facts or several facts that are stored in the pages themselves. So this gives you a pretty good overview of how to very quickly build an interactive database um, with a spreadsheet in a matter of minutes with Silk. Um, if you have more questions, you can go to our tutorials page at silk.co forward slash tutorials. Um, you can also always contact us for additional support uh, at support at silk.co or uh, find us on Twitter at silk.co. Thank you very much for listening and we hope that you uh, really enjoy Silk and have fun with us.